What's going on team? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another episode of the Stephen and Drota Glory. And then the last one, Derby welcomed to the championship by absolutely taking with to school. Smashed with 3-0. We couldn't even get a shot on target, man. Insane. That's all I can say. Insane. And as a result of it, we're currently sitting rock bottom in the league and that is all going to change in this one. I've got a good feeling about it and I think we're going to be getting our first three points of the season 100%. Now, as for some of the comments, it was mentioned in regards to Kana. If he's not working out for you, give Jones a try, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So, Jones, this is your chance. Make we're proud and prove a right that you should be in that first team. As for the rest of the changes, not too much has happened. We'll have changed some of the team numbers. Not going into that one, like. But we've changed some team numbers. It was mentioned to uh, give Van der Voort the number one. I think he's going to earn that number one, and... Do well for him. I think he's going to do well. As for some of the other changes, we've gave Hickey the number three. We've got Tanganga as 57. And I think there is only one more change, and it was Fritzen. Fritzen, where are you, son? Where are you hiding? He's going to be number 90. If he can reach that potential for her, absolutely fantastic. So we've changed that up as well. Now, as for some of the transfers that I am looking at, there was some comments in regards to some other players that we should look at. Again, Love all the comments. Keep them coming in. Really appreciate all the support on the channel. And saying that, if it is your first time on the channel and you like what you see and you go on to enjoy this episode, consider hitting that subscribe button, joining KO United for more of this FIFA 20 content. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, though, getting back into it, it was Millet that was mentioned and he plays for Monaco. Where is he? There he is. And I do like the looks of this kid. I am potentially considering selling some of our youth academy players because you just don't know how they're going to work out. This lad, he's going to be proven. You guys are suggesting him. Your suggestions are always spot on. So I put my faith in you guys and it always seems to work out. So we might look to bring this lad into the team. We are currently just scouting him, so we don't know too much about him just yet. But by the end of the episode, I think we'll know. I think we will know. And if the price is right for him, I think we might go for him. But looking at him, just as what we've got, He's got agility, acceleration, good balance, ball control and short passing. High medium work rates could be exactly what we need. If Jones isn't working out in that centre of the park, forward, we can always look at this kid. Jones can then go back into the second team in a centre attack and mid role and we can look to poten potentially sell on right. I mean, like I say, looks absolutely fantastic. As for some of the players that I have scouted, I have went to the free agents list once again because it did work out for us previously and we are now looking to sell some of them lads on. Make a little bit of money because we need it. We need it. So Carmona is one of them. Right mid, centre attack and mid, left mid. He does look pretty decent. The only problem with him is low medium work rates. We would probably have to change that up and sort him out because low medium, he's not going to be any good, is he? Certainly not in the centre of the park. But skill moves five he's only got a two-star weak foot but that doesn't matter too much not in the beginning but the rest of his stats there's some decent stats here a few greens that he can work into and i do like the looks of him especially on a free if he's only going to be wanting like 500 to a thousand a week i'll consider bringing this kid in we've also got a couple of left backs in here but de silva left back left wing back left mid as well so i might potentially Put List up top if Fritzen isn't going to be good enough for the championship just yet because we're all going to be training that lad up. And then this glad, this glad, this glad could go in. This lad could potentially go in and sort out their problems for it. Again, though, low medium work rates. It would be all right for that left back position, but certainly not for the left mid. So we would have to change that up as well. But again, for a free agent, he looks decent. I would advise any of you that are doing a road of glory, look at them free agents because there is some gems in there, 100%. You just need to search them out, but once you find them, 100% worth it. But look at his stats. Could grow to have 89 acceleration, good balance. Sprint speed, not amazing, but not that, that's that's not an issue really because that acceleration, you would get that boost and that would probably be all that we would need. Stamina, not too bad though. Rest of his stats, don't look too bad. Player maker trait as well, so could be decent in that left mid position. And then there's list there's this lad, Leo Lewicki. Leo Lewicki, yes, just for his name alone, I think we should bring him into the team. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot, medium high work rate, so perfect for that left back position. Stats don't look too bad at all. I think it would be worthwhile bringing in just to train him up. I reckon this lad would have some potential on him as well, so 
Heath, I think you'd be worth the risk. Now, it was mentioned, where on earth is Ada? It was mentioned in the comments, where is he? He's currently back in Norwich. I would love to have brought the kid into the team, but it's currently cost him between four and six million. Just far too much, unfortunately. We've currently got about two, three million left after a couple of sales. We might be able to look at lads like Ada. You never know. But unfortunately, at the minute, he is back at Norwich. We could potentially go in for another loan for him. Why not? Maybe he's going for a year loan this time once we reach the Premier League. Then if he's being really good for it, there you can. And then we can keep, keep List on the left-hand side. He could go back into that striker position. Options. We've got plenty of options. Well, I've got some options. Like, And it was mentioned as well about Masengo. Apparently players like Frankie de Jong. Is it Frankie? I think it is. It's not Frankie. Ah, oh, dear, now. You can correct us in the comments. But centre mid, centre defensive mid. And if he plays anything like De Jong, I would love to bring this kid into the team. 72 rated overall. Medium, medium work rates. I think he'd be fantastic. Another option for that centre mid position. I mean, we've got Kana. If Kana isn't going to necessarily work out for her, and you guys have said that this lad plays like De Jong, would it be the way to go to bring him in to this team? I mean, he plays for Bristol City at the minute, so he's got the experience. Could be a good one. Could be a good one. And the best thing about this lad, he has got that release clause, 2.8 million. Apparently, he's worth between 5 and 7. I think that would be decent, like. I think that would be decent. So there's a quick look at some of the players that we're considering. As for the games, though, like I said, we're going to be away to Huddersfield first. And we need things to change. So uh, <coughs> there you go. Just choke there. Without further ado... Let's get in this first game. Wow, look at that stadium, man. Looks absolutely spot on, doesn't it? It's like a miniature version of Spurs Stadium. Well, that's what I think anyway. But looks good. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to be able to upgrade with stadium now. It was mentioned a couple of episodes ago. Look to upgrade your stadium once you get the Premier League. But I don't think the Frosty Editor is working currently. The lad that was... Running the Frosty Editor has apparently been taken by EA. Apparently he's got a job at EA now. Well done, mate. If you ever see this video, spot on. You've really sorted yourself out there. Well done. But there you go. There you go. So I don't know what's going to happen with the Frosty Editor. But enough talking about other things. Because we need to get in this game. Pick up our first three points, don't we? So let's do it. Miri to Bakuna. Bakuna Matata means no worries for the rest of your days. If I was monetized, probably get a strike off the good old Lion King Disney there. But it's worth it. If you guys think it's funny, do you know what I'm saying? What the hell am I going on about? What am I going on about? How are Mui? Not a day, mate. Not a day, Jones. Dr. Jones. Palacios has been able to find that pass to Gelhart here. How much room are they giving him? Come on, Gelhart. Just go all the way, son. Gelhart has... That was the chance to go one up. And to score this Is he having a laugh? That would have given him so much confidence. Is he having a laugh? What was that? Really make the most of that yeah, we'll go. Matata. Matata with a free kick. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Oh, he's just playing it cool. He's played it out. Taking the shot straight into the wall, though. And it's give away a penalty. You've got to be having a joke, mate. What's going on? Oh, this isn't the start that we wanted, like. Jones, man. Dr. Jones, you're getting your chance in the first team. You're giving away a penalty, man. Oh, Jones. Jones, Jones, Jones. Right then. Can we save this penalty? Van der Voort. How are you, son? Come on, what you got for us? What you got? You're going left. And he's missed. Come on. Van der Voort, he didn't even need to move, man. That's how confident he was. Just stood there. Just watched it go by. Thinking, you absolute mug. <laughs> Brown, come on. Palacios. Matty, Matty. Oh, my God, come on. Is he on side? Bitter. Put a 1-0 up. Great save. Great save from Coleman. Benza into the box. Brown. Got air forward. Palacios. Dr. Jones. Gelhart. Come on. Semenyo. Was cheeky with that. I didn't think that pass would have played off. Gelhart. Oh my god. Coleman. How about Palacios? Come on. Semenyo. Semenyo. 
Oh, Super Semenyo. Super Semenyo gets his first goal of the championship season. Come on, son. We've actually scored. We have actually scored a goal. Didn't think it would happen, but it has. Coleman made a massive mistake coming out there. Like, it was easy for Semenyo, that. Easy. Brown. Better. Ooh, not a good one from Matty there, like. He's through. Not now. Not now. God, they've equalised. I thought we were going to be picking up our first three points. Matty Longstaff with a big mistake there. They've capitalised. Oh, it's because I was taking the mick out of Grant for missing that penalty in the first half. But look at this. Easy for him, that. Easy. Massively unlucky in that game, but looking on the bright side, we actually scored a goal. We had some shots. Huddersfield they didn't dominate where like Derby did. So you've got to you've got to look at the positives. You've got to look at the positives. I think we will pick up three points at least in this episode. But we're all going to be getting onto some training for the lads now. It was mentioned to put Gelhard back in the training, put race against the clock on him. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Let's see what the lads can do for here. Oh, Tanganga, thanks for that F, mate. Thank you very much. Hickey only getting a D. At least Jones, Dr. Jones, massive mistake in that last game. Like, but he got an A. He's pushing for that 70 overall. Gelhart, only a C. But it's a step in the right direction in it. Moving on to the next game, and we're away to QPR. It's in the Cup, so I am going to be playing the second team. I do want a decent run in the Cups. Uh, I don't want to go out like we did in the previous two seasons. So we're going to give it a decent shot, 100%. Also, we're going to get a chance to see what Fritzen's made of, see if he is worth buying, and if he can prove we're right in regards to why we brought him into the team, or if he is absolutely useless. We're all going to be having a look at a new striker. Like I say, we can always look at maybe he's loaning Ada, something like that. But let's get in this game away to QPR and see if we can progress in the cup. Fritzen, all eyes are on you, son. Line up for the business, Kane. See. I think that back Wood. Really oh, just battling with him, getting that ball back. Thank you. Here we go, Fritzen. What's he got? What's he got in the locker? Fritzen, come on, son. Oh, he's dodging that. Them, got nice ball, really Harris, over the top, header, and he's put over the bar, he's put it out of the bar, how are mate, I think we do need a new centre attack in mid for the second team, right, he's just not going to cut it is he, Smith with a Y, Smith with a Y has lost the ball, it's Harris, right, playing it out to List, List, come on son, what you got, what you got Fritzen? Got a nice little ball over the top for right off the bar. Off the bar. Oh, it's not over yet, though. It's not over yet. Oh, it is. It is over. <laughs> List. Battling with ball. Oh, he's made a massive mistake. Come on, List. Come on, son. I know you've got it in you. I know. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, he can't. Really? Really? List. Clark. Come on, the Dauber to Harris, turned him, still Harris, plays it across, oh, ah, Fritzen, getting his first goal, getting his first goal, oh, doing the Klinsman, there he is, ah, you got made, well done son, well done, picking up your first goal for the team, not bad at all, pretty straightforward for Harris this, straight in, ball across, on a player for Fritzen, 1-0. Come on, right. Out of the top. Fritzen non the volley. Not great, like. Not great, it did, mate. What are you doing? Would have been a cracking goal, though, wouldn't it? You just smashed it. Just smashed it into the stands. Well, good it for you. Oh, nice little bit of skill from Van Kooten there. Nice little bit of skill through. Oh, Fritzen nearly getting his second there. Well, finally won a game. We have finally won a game. Putting QPR out of the cup. That's exactly what I wanted from the lads. Well done, especially to Fritzen. Scoring his first goal for the team. I'm hoping it's the first of many. As you can see, the next game up is going to be a, at home to Stoke City. But we're going to be looking at some of our little uh, inbox messages here. Because we've got a monthly scout update. Is Davis going to find with some more gems? I am hoping so. Let's find out what he's got for us. Oh, Cordoba, 75 potential, reject. 
Adrian Ponce, one unfortunate name, but there you go. Reject. Bello, reject. Korea, reject. I thought sending him to Argentina, it would have been like finding the new Messi. Clearly not, though. Clearly not. Wiles also got a offer in for Elliot Carter. Is he on the list? He is. It's from Cas Casim Passa. Casim Passa SK. There you go. One million golden coins. Thank you very much. Accept. So if we can get a million for him, that'll be ideal. Ideal because we're all going to be looking, like I say, to bring in one or two more players. What's Carter saying? Aye. There'll be a next time, mate. There will be a next time. I don't even know. don't even know if there will. But we're all going to be getting into this game against Hull. As you can see, we have climbed the table slightly. Slightly up to 22nd now. Where is Stoke sitting? 13th. So they've won one and lost one. They're not off to the greatest of starts either. They've scored three and conceded three. So can we add to that list of goals that they're going to be conceding? I am hoping so. It is going to be the first team. Hopefully, Semenyo is going to be getting on that score sheet yet again. I don't know whether I give Gones, Gones. I don't know whether I give Gones a go. I don't know whether I give Gones. I've done it again. I don't know whether to give Jones another try. There you go. And third, third time lucky. Don't know whether I give Jones a try or put Kana back in. I think I might put Kana back in because Jones he did cost with that penalty. So Kana, you're back in, son. You are back. And. I don't know why I keep forgetting about this, but Kana, you can't play in that centre-back position, so you could always use him there. And then Tanganga could always go into the second team if we do need the help there. But I keep forgetting to put Bjorkander into that uh, second team because Bjorkander is going to be going in there. Don't worry about Wood, though, because he is going to be playing on that right-hand side. So hopefully that'll be decent for us. Let's get into this game against Stoke and... Hopefully, pick up the first three points of this season for it. Stoke to what? Fellaini? Fellaini playing for Stoke. What's going on there? I don't know what is going on, but they've just nearly scored. Van der Voort keeping winning it. But Fellaini to Stoke. Jesus. There you go, I suppose. Good save from Van der Voort, though. So I'm talking about Son. Corner for Stoke now, then. The ball is coming in from Ince. Fel Fellaini. Scored. That's why they've bought him. Because he's just put them 1-0 up. Look at that man. He hasn't even got that hair anymore, has he? I don't know. Well, he might have it again. But the last time I've seen him. Because I, I, I see him quite regular, you know. Meet up with him and that. He had shaved all his hair off. But there you go. <sighs> Decent header. Van der Voort. He's just... Ah, wrong way. Come on, mate. Oh, no, Stoke are in again. They're in again here. Yeah. Come on, what's going on with this defence, man? Played it back out to Allen, though. A, a table, a table. What's going on? Get the block. Oh, Brown. Wild one getting there. Thank God for that. Put the straight back on the attack. And Allen nearly puts him 2 0 up. Ooh. Whoa, what that one up, no, there? He just collapsed. He was that devastated. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at him. Wild one's like, no, nah, mate. No. Nah. He's condoling him. Con what was it? Condoling? Con no. Consoling him. There you go. Come here, mate. I know you missed, but don't worry about it. <laughs> My God. Come on. Palacios. To Matty. Oh, come on, Matty. Come on, Matty. Matty, Matty. Long staff. Oh, I thought he was going to put him on equal terms with, 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 with them, even. But obviously not. Matty. Oh, how are mate? Oh, cheeky. Four bears through. It's 2-0. I thought we were going to be starting a push for that equaliser. But final nail in the coffin there, like... Gutted. Stoke got in again. In, put it through his legs. And he's made it 3-0. I thought it was bad already, but it just went from bad to worse. And Ince didn't mince about there, did he? <laughs> Don't know, that was the only thing I would come up with. With <laughs> scoring that goal. Fans aren't happy. I can hear a chance of Kenny out. I really can. We need, we need to change things. 
big time. Ooh. Nah, me. Absolute. Nah, me. Things are looking good for Stevenage at the minute, like, are they? They're not looking good at all. I knew the championship would be a lot harder, but not this hard. Call blame. Call blame. But. We're going to be going at this game away to Millwall. I'm just going to be simming this one. I mean, can things realistically get any worse? I know we're only at the start of the season, so we're going to afford to sim some games. I mean, Millwall, they're in 20th. The only issue is I'm going to be playing the second team. So it is a bit of a risk, but that's what we're all about, eh? Have some risks. Take some risks. Have some risks? You wouldn't have any, would you? You'd take some. But they've lost, drawn and lost, so their form isn't much better than ours either. So let's see what the lads can do. Come on. Can they actually pick up three points? <laughs> We're being bitten. Bitten? We're being bitten off Millwall. Beaten off Millwall. And that's yet another loss. Yet another loss. We still haven't got anything back for the lads in regards to the transfers either i do not think we'll have a look while we are here where are they where are they i only want to realistically look at them um, free agents uh 650 to 900 for him he's worth 300,000 uh he's worth 350 same 650 to 900 and then lewicky 275,000 650 to 900 pound a week now obviously based on their values they're not going to be like first team players but we can work on them i do think they'll be decent so i am going to sign these lads up and then possibly for the next episode i'm going to have a little scout on the free agents again see if there's any more hidden gems in there and if we need to we can sign some more up. but for the time being we are just going to be signing these lads up i don't know whether we might need either i mean fritzen got a goal for her got a goal but that's exactly what we're needing we're needing that goal scorer in the second team and Semenyo, he has bagged a goal for her, but he's been he's been a bit off. He's been a bit off. So Aida, twenty two thousand a week. If we could get his wage down, like I say, ten thousand a week for a season long loan, I think Aida would be a decent buy. But there you go. There you go. We haven't sold any more players. Or have we? We might have sold more players. I might be lying there. Cause we've now got three just over three million. Ooh. Oh, who have we sold? Oh, there you go, Evans. Evans has went and Harris has went out on loan. So that's why we've got a little bit more money. So there you go. So we are going to be getting into this next game. <clears throat> I think it is going to be the last game of the episode. You know, for a fact, it's not going to be easy. What's this? We've got a transfer off iron for Harris. Five million. Five million. And Cart has been sold. Ooh, even better. So we are going to have some money to play with. But Harris, he's not going anywhere. Columbus crew. Sounds like a haircut. No, thank you. No, thank you. But there you go. We've now got... How much have we got in the budget? 3.7 million. We potentially could go in for one of the better players that you guys have mentioned. I think that could be a possibility. But again, I probably will save it for the next episode now. Next episode, we will just be closing out the transfer window. So we'll get the final transfers out the way. I thought we would have been able to make some in this episode, but... Obviously not. Well, I've got another game in the Carabao Cup as well against Bradford. And then we're, we're going to be playing Brentford before the end of the window. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. But like I say, we're all going to be getting into this last game against West Brom. I know for a fact it's going to be difficult. They're doing pretty well in real life. I think they might make a return to the Premier League, which I would like to see. I don't mind West Brom at all. So, it's going to be the first team. <laughs> How are you, lads? End the episode on a win. Come on. Come on. To get the ball in the box. Townsend. On a Being able to find the cross. Kana to Brown. Not good enough. Oh, Kana with a block. Oh, yes. Come on, son. Ah, oh, no. West Brom on the attack. Ball. Van der Voort. Great save, mate. Great save. He's earning that number one, isn't he? He really is. Because I think Bazunu or Chevalier. That could have been a goal, like. Could have been a goal. Gelhardt here. Come on. He's played it to Hickey. We know he can whip a ball in the box. That's exactly what I've expected him to do. Gelhardt trying to get on the volley. Ball draw in that one then. 
Not the way I wanted to realistically end the episode, but I don't know what's going on with this team at the minute. Past two seasons, you would get Palacios and Semenyo making some absolutely unreal runs. You'd have Gelhart and Bitter doing exactly the same thing, but none of them seem to want to do anything. I've not changed anything in regards to tactics or anything like that, so... I might potentially look at some new formations for the next episode, just to give them a try. I mean, I would prefer to stick with a 4-2-3-1. It worked wonders for her. Maybe it's just that we're getting off to a bad start in the season, and then we're form's going to start to pick up. Who knows? Who knows? But one thing I have done, I've brought them lads in from the free agents list. So let's have a quick look at them. So we had De Silva. He's a 60 overall. It doesn't look like he's going to be a potential to be special or anything like that, but... I'm just realistically bringing these in so we can sell them on later down the line. Let's have a look at some of his stuff. So, uh, we've seen them really, but acceleration, he's not too bad. Agility isn't great, but he's got good balance on him. Rest of his stats, they aren't fantastic. Like I say, these may play every now and again. But if we find someone that is working for us, we'll definitely look to, to play them more often. But straight away, not too bad. I think his wage is like, there you go, £650 a week. And Lewicki, £400 a week, even better. He doesn't look too bad either, but he's currently a 59 rated overall, so we're not going to know in regards to his potential, which is unfortunate. But again, good acceleration. Not bad stats. They're not awful. I must admit, they are not awful. And, I mean, it was put in the comments, don't sell Denton on, so we're not going to sell Denton for the time being. He is still sitting there, but he's only a 66 rated overall. I reckon this lad could get to over a 66 pretty fast. And then he could be the replacement for Denton. And we've not realistically spent any money. Just a little bit of wage. £400 a week. Next to nothing. Next to nothing. Now there was the lad as well on the right mid position. Where is he? Where is he? I say... Oh God. I've got that many random people. But there you go. Carmona. He's a 59 rated as well. But he's signed a deal for £650 a week as well. Got them five-star skill moves, though. Well, maybe he's changed his attack and, and defensive work rates. Maybe he's like a medium to low or high low, something like that. Uh, but there's, there's stats. Acceleration, not too bad. Balance, good. Good jumping. Again, nothing amazing, but I think he's got potential. And it's, it's what we need. We need players with decent potential. But there you go. We're all going to be closing out this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. At least we've started a little bit better than we did the last one. That is always something to be positive about. But if you have enjoyed it, drop a like. It really helps out the channel. I can't even speak, so there you go. But yes, drop a like. I really appreciate it when you do. And if you are new and you've enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button and join KO United. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.